This is Sessions in Place, and my name is Oliver Stellfox. And let me tell you a little thing that blows my mind. It is our 53rd Sessions in Place. That is consecutive, and that means we have made it one year. And uh, boy, oh boy, is that something to just... I just can't. I get, it fucking blows my entire mind. Anywho, let's get rolling. Um, so today we are here with Larson Gardens at Olympic Studios, which is a production studio slash equipment rental. So if you need any of those things, hit up Derek Klein. And um, this is actually the album release show for Larson Gardens' album, Moonflower. So go on to all the streaming platforms and find it there. Even pre-purchase the album. Um, but, you know, don't do that right now because she's about to play it. So <laughs> hold off on that. Um, and if you don't know, what is Sessions in Place? Well, let me tell you, we are an award winning and now we're the world's best sip. So mm. how about that? Courtesy of Sarah Edmonds there. Also, um, something that I forgot to show off. This is the album artwork for Moonflower, which is the new album of Larson Gardens. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> what is Sessions in Place? Well, it is ADD. No, it's an award-winning socially distanced concert series that's live streamed every Saturday since April 11th, 2020, hence the one year anniversary. Um, we stream to Facebook and YouTube, and we do this because we believe live music is essential and this is the way that we choose to support that endeavor by having a live stream every fucking Saturday. Wow. Um, and if you want to help support our endeavors, find us on Facebook and follow, like, and share our posts and check out the event calendar for the upcoming acts and even maybe start a Facebook watch party with your family and friends, foes, whomever you want. Um, and then on YouTube, you can even subscribe to us. It's like, there's a logo thing like in this corner, I believe. Am I right? There's a logo right here. Cool, uh, no one's telling me anything. But you can hover over it and it will give you a little subscribe thing. You can click on that and wham, bam, thank you, madam. And then you can even set the reminder bell so that when we go live, you will be reminded. And when we post remasters, because when we have uh, uh, a live stream, we record independently on every camera and we multi-track all the audio as well so that we can create remasters that then post on YouTube, of which we post three. And you can even share that stream link, the YouTube one, onto your social media timelines. A fun thing that we ask you at home to do is if you're on Instagram right now, take a picture or a video of yourself and then tag at Larson Gardens and at Sessions in Place so we here can see how you, you there, I can see you can, at home. And then um, a fantastic way to help us out um, is through Eventbrite. You will notice that there is the ability to buy a donation-based ticket and that helps out the artists, that helps out us, that helps uh, Fremont Abbey as well. So please, 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 I urge you to go on to our link tree and which you can find in our bio on our Instagram and buy a donation-based ticket. Another financial way that you can support us is through Venmo. Just find us there, sessions in place, easy peasy. And then Patreon as well. You can contribute monthly and you have the incentives of being listed in the credits and access to the rest of the remaster video. And like I said earlier, you can find all of these links. If you, you know, you're finding it hard to find these links, you can find them on our link tree, in our bio, in our Instagram. Now, grab a glass of whatever's helping you cope with this time apart, and let's enjoy Larson Gardens together.
a list then throw it away Bone will wrap the marrow in its own time Everything's coming up a dream in my eyes How do you think the clouds spill from the sky Yeah. 
You are listening to the one and only Larson Gardens, who is Sarah Edmonds. And boy, oh boy, this is a beautiful, beautiful time. These clouds, these clouds, these clouds are beautiful. They are provided by Caitlin. I don't know her last name. Ramig. Yes, Ramig, that's right. Um, who helped out in making a music video for a song with Larson Gardens, of which is not released yet, but it will soon. So check it out if you can, um, or when you can, rather. <laughs> um, Sarah, could you do me the big solid, and maybe you could uh, introduce your band for me, and us, and everyone. That'd be lovely. Sure, I would love to. Uh, to my left is Jarrett Samples on guitar. <laughs> We've got Greg Olson on uh, bass, Paul Davis on the drums, and Riley Skinner on Mellotron and backup vocals. Off in the distance, who will be back shortly, is Katie Redman. I will introduce her later. And on the keys, we've got Sydney Hunt. And all of you guys, this will be uh, interesting to see if I can do it. Well, we've got Oliver Stellfox as MC this evening. We've got Brent Driscoll on Steadicam. Is that a thing? OK, you rock. Um, we've got Ben Strickland on the Jib. Um, <laughs> Diana, I just met you. It's so nice to meet you. Um, Derek, I don't know your last name, but you rock. The lights look so great. Um, Jessica, I met you earlier. And then somebody named John, who I met earlier. And then Austin Glass is here. Is that right? And Richard doing the hard stuff, like switching between the different views of the cameras. That's so dope. Like, so cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone give Sarah a round of applause for her memory. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Never had a round of applause for her memory. Um, well, thank you so much for having us here. It's really like a huge honor to be playing your one year show and also a huge yeah. shout out to Derek Klein who mm -hmm. is up here. He is the owner and operator of Olympic Studios. So, thank you so much Derek for allowing us to be here. The way is long And the road is gone But when I look up at the sun I am held in sugary light There's a garden in my heart and it won't 
This is really a showcasing of the millions of guitars that Sarah has. <laughs> I wish I could claim them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have a couple people, or a few people here saying some beautiful things. Um, Roseanne Olson. Oh, hi, Roseanne. She's saying, I miss you. so beautiful to see you and hear your voice, and also to see Riley and Katie. Yeah. XO, XO. Oh, we love you. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Austin Glass was, is in the chat. He wasn't <laughs> here, um, oh. but he's in the chat, and he said impressive name recall. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have Paul Kuhn, K-U-H-N. Hi, Paul. Um, saying, hey, Riley, what a sensational production all around, and y'all look and sound tops. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Um, and, uh, oh, Bioluminescent Films. Yeah. Sarah! <laughs> You are killing it. And yeah, uh, also, also, yay, clouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so that music video I was talking about earlier, Bioluminescent Films, produced and filmed it and made it. So check that out when you can. Also, Elliot Padilla did a lot of uh, hand claps of praise. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hi, Elliot. Hey. What's up? And Jesse Rose. Oh, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Um, backup vocal ladies killing it. <laughs> Oliver out.
It's just so good. It's just so good. I was reminded of the time when <laughs> you played that song, actually, in my apartment for the thing called Sit Down, Be Quiet, and Just Be, and you made all these amazing videos, and you've never done video work before. And oh. it was really incredible, and the start of our friendship. So That's true. amazing, amazing stuff. Um, Haley McGee is saying those Riley and Katie harmonies are just heart, heart, heart. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Rachel Comstock. Hi, Rachel. Loving everything about this show, and I'm basking the excellence, sending all my love. <laughs> That's sweet. And then uh, Katie Patterson. Hey, Katie. Eddie, you, Eddie? Is someone known as Eddie? That's my nickname. Ooh. <laughs> half the people in my life know me as Eddie. That's weird that I'm on the other half. Um, <laughs> yeah. You look and sound gorgeous as always. Oh, Love how this song you. showcases your voice especially. Wish we could be there in person. Thank you guys again for joining. 
out there live. Um, we're going to take a 10 minute break. Please stick around for our second set. Wow, one year of sessions in place. Congratulations, guys, that is a huge milestone. I'm Ray Isla, and I had the honor of doing a session in place at Fremont Abbey last fall, and it was a wonderful experience. I am so happy to be a part of the SIP community. Funny story, Oliver asked me to do it a week before. Love a nice challenge. I put together uh, string arrangements of some of the songs off of my forthcoming record, which is coming out next month, May 7th. And uh, we had Natalie Gray, who's a local violinist, on violin, and Brad Hawkins, who's a local cellist, on cello and grand piano, and my buddy Garrett singing backup. And it was amazing. I honestly think that those recordings may be better than the record that I'm putting out. So thank you, Sessions in Place, for that. Um, to anyone who's thinking about doing one or thinking about supporting this community, the, the production and the dedication that these folks put into this project is of such a high caliber. And um, it's amazing to be able to work with people who make content like this and, and want to really push themselves to make something cinematic. So thank you to Sessions in Place for making me feel at home in my hometown of Seattle. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back now. And uh, I can't wait to do more stuff with you. Yo, 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 Sessions in Place and the Extended Sessions in Place fam. It's your boy Marshall from the Marshall Law Band, and I just wanted to stop by and say congratulations. One whole year in the books, and wow, what a year it was. You've documented history. You had the squad on twice. That alone, you know you got a fan in the boys, and uh, it's amazing to be able to team up, and not only in music, but in community with the Lerv Bombs and uh, Dr. Ben's wish list and getting the books to the kids at the Odessa Brown fa uh, Family Clinic. So please, please, uh, whatever you do, make sure you support Sessions in Place because they're not only producing great content, but they're great people producing great content in a great community. It's time to make this change, get artists represented right, you feel me, get the community back booming. It looks like it's going to get better, y'all, so make sure you stay safe and you keep supporting real ones around you. I got love for y'all and you know that, and uh, you know, 2021 and beyond is going to be great as a result of people like y'all in our community. Much love. Keep doing your thing. I see you. Shout out to Ale. Hi, I'm Riley. And I'm Katie, and we sing in a duo called Headwind. We got to do uh, sessions in place during the pandemic, and it was really fun for us to have an opportunity to perform, but also to just get to share with our friends and our family who are far away from us and feeling isolated. And it was just a really warm and positive experience that we feel super grateful for. Yeah, it was really the only opportunity that we've had during the pandemic to get out and to play our music and to connect with people in that way. And we really just were so grateful to have that experience. And it was really exciting for us to get out of the house and do something. It's also been really fun to just get to watch other people perform with sessions in place because it's always so high quality. And I really miss getting out and seeing people gig and feeling inspired by what other people are doing. So I feel really grateful to get a little taste of that from home as well during this time. Uh, my name is Gabe Molinaro. My performance name is Fred. I performed with Sessions in Place. I don't know when it was now. <laughs> It's been a weird year. I didn't really know what to expect. And I remember walking into the space. It was this um, big studio in Redmond, just seeing like all this equipment and realizing like, oh, wow, these folks are professionals. This is gonna be really cool. There's just something about playing shows where people have their shit together that feels very elevating as an artist where you just feel special and uh, sessions in place was definitely that for me everyone on the team is just very very good at what they do and has been in the industry for a while so then i think the second thing that i was surprised by was wondering like what are they getting out of this <laughs> like it just seemed like they were giving so much of their time and their talent in service of artists i can't help but be like skeptical at first but turns out they really are doing it for the love of music 
and their craft. And of course, it's like if you take your craft seriously and you're good at what you do, then you know you want it to do well and you want people to see and you want there to be an audience. But they're just a really great group of professionals. One of my greatest worries is that post COVID, as I'm worried about smaller venues and I'm worried about big corporate gigs becoming a thing. And corporate gigs often don't really honor artists the way that they should be. And so I'm really comforted to know that a team like Sessions in Place is around and part of the scene and doing what they do. Sessions in Place has been one of the most fulfilling opportunities that I have had as an artist. Just when all crap was hitting the fan last year, I had the awesome privilege of being a part of the Black Lives Matter show. I don't know, I think if I can put it into words how much SIP has meant to me, it wouldn't fit in my hands. SIP has been a huge, huge, huge help to artists in Seattle, um, especially to me personally. Whereas good audio, good video, good live streaming, where else are you getting that nowadays? You're not getting that anywhere else but SEP, you know what I mean? So personally, my experiences have been super fun, super emotional, but also just absolutely heartwarming. One of the things that I love about the guys that work on set, they're loving, they're giving, they're gracious, and they're just hilarious as hell. So if you ever get the chance to work with these amazing human beings, do it, because you're gonna appreciate it, I promise. Thank you so much to Sessions in Place um, for having us be a part of this incredible journey. This fun experience that we get to do, we get to still bring music to people um, in such a very dark time. And I'm so thankful for Sessions in Place for giving us that platform and area and safe space to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. We really appreciate you. How's it going? It's Timothy Robert Graham. Just want to say thank you so much to the good folks at Sessions in Place for having me on the show. It was a highlight of this year in quarantine and the only show that we played as a full band. So really special to get to have a document of where the band was at. I think the crew there is fantastic. They made me feel safe and special. Um, they had just everything dialed and I hope I get to come back and do another show. So big congrats to everybody who's gotten to be on the show and to Sessions in Place for really making something great for the Seattle music community. All right, much love, y'all. Take care. Hey, everyone. I go by the name Liv. Um, really glad to be doing this video. Uh, I think the first thing I really want to do is just shout out to Oliver and shout out to all the Sessions in Place uh, staff and crew. Um, I think it was one of the more positive things to come out of the pandemic. It was kind of during just the time where I think we needed music. Me as an artist, I needed to perform. Oh goodness. Um, I just needed something out there just to kind of give hope to the fact that, you know, eventually we would kind of make it back to a place where we could kind of have a new normal. And I think that sessions in place really just helped me hold on to that. I think my my favorite part about it, one, like I said, just the crew was just fun. It made me feel really comfortable. Everything looked amazing. I mean, the production quality was, it, it was just amazing. I think sometimes when we do these live performances, sometimes they're not always produced well, but Sessions in Place did such a great job. I think, you know, especially during this time we're not, when we're not performing, we need content. They just created a great space for us to perform, created great videos for us to have. And for me personally, just created just a time where I can be, just be happy and feel normal as an artist. I think even after this pandemic is over, after shows start, I would love for this to just continue to be something that they do. They've had some amazing performers outside of myself. A couple of my favorites, Rel was up there as a great performance. Talia's was a great performance. Will Jordan's was a great pre-recorded performance. Yeah, I want to I wanna see more of this. I think that they just do a great job of showcasing talent. And the mission and everything behind why they do what they do is amazing. Um, I'm glad I got to be a part of it. I think people should keep tuning in, keep supporting it by tuning in, support it fiscally. Their whole crew, they're just doing great things. 
thank you guys for letting me be a part of it. Appreciate you. Peace. Congrats, sessions in place. A whole year. I am truly so grateful to be here. I can't believe it's your one year anniversary. It is a dream come true to get to work with you and to have watched so many of your shows. I am truly blown away by the level of artistry and beauty that you guys are able to capture and create. And to those of you watching tonight, thank you for being here. It's uh, so meaningful to connect with you in this way. Please stick around for the second half of our show tonight. And Oliver, these, uh, these googly eyes are for you. beans if you are just joining us now you missed the first half and that is a crying shame but you can always go back in time and watch that first part this is the only instance where you can go back in time so you're welcome and if you are watching us on YouTube we ask that you subscribe to us on YouTube all you people that are watching right now it'd be lovely if you all subscribe to us I wish oh Colleen <laughs> you right She's watching. I know it. I saw. Um, I'm just calling her out. Uh, and then if you also want to set that reminder bell, you will be notified when we go live. And you'll also be notified when we post remasters. Because if you didn't know, we post three remasters. One, two, three. From the live stream onto the YouTube eventually. So check that out. Um, and then on Facebook... If you can follow us there, that'd be fantastic. You can check out our event calendar, see what's going to happen in the future. And then um, the share links, or the stream links that we ask that you share, the Facebook and YouTube onto your social media timelines, that'd be incredible, you know, so that your people that you're aff affiliated with can see it. And then if you're on Instagram, we ask that you take a picture and or a video and then post it onto your stories and then tag at Larson Gardens and at such and so in place so that we here can see how you at home are watching this. Now, if you're asking yourself, how can I make sure that sessions in place continues to happen? Well, financial ways are great because um, money makes the world go around and Venmo, if you're on there, if you have one, throw some Venmo bucks our way. We ask at least $5, but since it's our 53rd consecutive sessions in place, we ask that you donate $53. <laughs> Every single one of you. And if you do, we'll continue doing this for one more year. <laughs> uh, we'll probably do it anyways. But anyways, um, we also have a Patreon, and we ask that you consider going and becoming a Patreon supporter. And you'll get access to the rest of those remasters, and you'll also get to see all of the um, um, extra, wait, you'll get to see, sorry, people are talking and it's very distracting. Ah. Thank you. Um, I have a, <laughs> my, brain, my brain is a sip. So anyway, um, on Patreon, we ask that you become a patron and you will get access to the remasters, the rest of the ones that are more than the three on YouTube and you'll actually also be listed in our credits. Some people that we'd like to thank that are supporters are Alex from Cumulus, became a supporter of ours recently, so thank you, Alex. Um, Sean Mann, um, Andre Simmons, Jewel Laurie, Shelley Lundahl, Haley McGee, Denise Zonto, Miss Nomers, Amy Ellen Trefsker, Tina Jones, Hugh Lee, Eva Lukander, Kevin Schlatter, Anna Yamborkik, Kevin, or Michael Kugler. Um, my Aunt Carla and My Uncle Bear, 
and my mama, Pamela Fredrika Love. <sighs> so, let's get back to it. So, um, here's Larson Gardens again. Funny thing, so uh, people actually did donate fifty-three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a couple. That's just making me laugh. <laughs> so thank you all for donating on Venmo, fifty-three dollars, and also any amount, any amount will do. We appreciate it so much.
close my eyes to see colors blue and red and green. If I hold a feeling, wanna be a channel for your love, give it out like roses. For the stranger never really. to the very star that shines to pull me open for a stranger never really is a stranger to the very star that shines to pull me open for a stranger never really is a stranger if you've heard the beating of my I mean, it just gives me another opportunity to just talk into this microphone. Also, it will delay. The, I mean, I want this moment to last forever. Like, you really create 
this really fucking beautiful soundscape. And for that, I am thankful. You guys are really killing it. I can't wait for you guys to go home and watch this and listen to this. <laughs> I can't wait. It's yeah. So good. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, <is> it good? <laughs> um, Haley McGee just said, damn, go guitar person, go. Because <laughs> you were going so hard, dude. Ah. Uh, uh.
This is our last song. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you so much, Sessions in Place, for having us. It's really an honor to be doing this on your anniversary, and we're really lucky to be here. This is called Halfway There. Your tuning was halfway there. <laughs> Friday. 
is how you celebrate your one year anniversary whether it's with sessions in place or at your wedding <laughs> hire larson gardens to play on your wedding anniversary i guess oh my god this has been a phenomenal night i was getting mad goosebumps that last song it's really incredible i cannot thank you guys enough really for being with us, well, Sarah being with us again, but also being with us for your album release and for our one year anniversary. So mad snaps, mad snaps and claps, mad snaps and claps. Um, it's really incredibly mind blowing that we have done this for a year and I'll just keep on beating that dead horse because it is a fucking feat. It's a fucking feat. Like, I don't know how much you guys know that goes into these things, but it's a lot. It's basically like, it's it's almost like as if each one of us have full-time jobs on top of our full-time jobs, but we would do it time and time again, because it's literally the only way that we can have live music safely right now. Um, you know, we're starting to get to the, the point of actually getting to live music um, in person. People are getting vaccines, and that's a glorious, glorious thing and we will continue doing this and we'll continue collaborating with other people and other spaces to make the live audience and the live stream audience one because that is kind of our mission statement at least as it is right now um and then if you are just flabbergasted by the multitude of work the multitude of artists just the the, the sheer factor of like everything that goes on on this um venmo like i said 53 bucks one dollar per week the next week 54 bucks in the neck no, <laughs> but you know um we would be very appreciative that little bit goes a long way you could also donate this amount 420 it's 420 dollars that's an amount i mean <laughs> the, i don't know what I don't even know what we'd do with that money, but we'd be appreciative. That's what we'd do with it. Um, Patreon, we also have one of those. So if you want to become a Patreon supporter to help us in this endeavor, monthly support, that is an incredible thing. You'll get access to the rest of the remasters, and then you'll also be able to be listed in the credits. And it's just fantastic. The additional thing is Eventbrite. Um, if you go onto our link tree in our Instagram and you find that thing and you click on it, the very first link is the donation-based 
ticket. Buy that for whatever amount that you can. Um, and then an amount goes to the artist, amount goes to us, and an amount goes to the Fremont Abbey because the Fremont Abbey is actually the ones that are creating this ticketing thing. So shout out to the Fremont Abbey. Um, and then, so now to really give you guys a scope as to the amount of people that go into making a session like this happen, um, this is produced by Austin Glass, Brett James Driscoll, Ben Strickland, and myself, Oliver Stellfox. And tonight, and most nights, honestly, are tech directed by Richard McLean, AKA. <laughs> that was said so solemnly. I think that deserves another go. AKA. Richard McLean cut. Yeah. Uh, we love him so much. We also love everyone else here. We don't just love him more than other people. Uh, you're welcome. Um, the jib operator tonight and most nights, that is Ben Strickland. It's the camera that was going wee, floating and getting all the crazy angles. And then Steady Daddy, AKA Steady Cam Operator was Brent James Driscoll. You didn't say hi. Hi. Wow. Good boy. Wow. I guess when I was forgetting my lines with the people talking and I was like, hey, he took that to note. <laughs> um, the additional camera operator, which was on the slider over here, is John Miller, beautiful human. Um, and then lighting, it was a one-two punch. We had the help of Jessica Palmer. And then Derek Zonto was the one doing the beeps and the boops and making the pretty things in the light world happen. And then in terms of audio stuff, that's me, Oliver Stellfox, AKA Audio Stellfox. And then behind the scenes photography is Diana Bartos, who's right here. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Should almost talking to my mic right there, but don't do that because COVID. Um, and I want to give some honorable mentions to the people that aren't here from our crew because we are nothing without the people that help out and volunteer and donate their time because they also believe that live music is essential and this is the only way that we can do it currently and this is the way that we choose to support that endeavor. Um, that's Chris Brown, Christopher Brown. Mad shout outs to you. Love you. Love you, Chris. Love you, Chris. Um, Jeffrey Martin, uh, another BTS photographer. And then Gooch, he is an amazing human. He basically can predict when something's about to go awry and already be there. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Is he human or is he God? I don't know. Um, Terrence Ankeny, he is a person that helps us out in lighting. And then Joanne Ledbetter, she also is another BTS photographer. Is there anyone that I'm forgetting? Morgan Jones! She flew the coop and I forgot about her. Oh man, Morgan, we love you so much. You're an amazing human. And even though we are miles apart, I still feel the connection as if we are together. Um, anyone else that I forgot? Oh, Luke Hildreth. Last week's episode with Tomo Nakayama, Luke was making some beautiful visuals happen. So thank you, Luke. Um, anyone else? I already said Austin, but Mackenzie, um, what's her last name? Glisten. Glisten. Oh, right, Glisten. Uh, Mackenzie Glisten, um, she helped us out in the camera department as well. And then Lena, also, Naf, Naf um, shout out to you. Uh, the social media and the PR for our Patreon mostly is done by Carol uh, Faulkner. And um, this was shot on location at Olympic Studios. Shout out Derek Klein. Woo! And then um, some sponsors that we would love to thank. R90 for these lights, these mover lights that are moving right here, making beautiful light orbs happen by the touch of Derek Zonto, AKA Light God. Light God, that's your new nickname, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Um, Lightsmiths, they are, they basically help us out a bunch in terms of like getting those light tubes that we use from time to time. Fortunately, we didn't get them today, but um, they have been a, a great resource for that. Prism Lens Effects has provided us with filters to put over our lenses to make for crazy beautiful little uh, 
you saw it. I don't need to describe it. Um, you need a burger. They have provided us a meal that is talent and crew alike. And basically a lot of your Venmo donations go to throwing money back at them for their generosity. So be generous so that we can be generous. Um, and then Black Raven Brewery has provided us with a bunch of beer. I just picked it up two nights ago and man my apartment my entry looks insane just like boxes of topo chico now a bunch of black raven brewery if anything i'm hydrated in some way um and then adams for these masks thank you adams appreciate you um guyaki for their yerba mates and then do 206 for really helping us extend our audience to their audience, extending our reach. And of course, Topo Chico, a new sponsor of ours, providing us with those boxes of Topo Chicos like I was talking about. Um, the additional music that you're hearing right now underneath my voice is Tiffany Costello's music. She's about to go into the world of New York, so I wish you luck in that endeavor. And next week is our 54th, 54th episode of Sessions in Place. And it is actually a pre-recorded session that is actually Jarrett Sample's seventh time being on Sessions in Place. But more than that, I, or maybe same amount to that, um, is it's actually a filming of the first live and in-person concert here in Seattle, which was on March something. It happened in the past but we're bringing it to you next Saturday. And that was with the Black Tones and Paige Turner. And that was filmed at the Museum of Flight. So check out safeandsoundseattle.org for future so shows and tickets. And uh, yeah, I, I just honestly hope that the rest of your night is at least half as mind blowing as what happened here at Olympic Studios. Good night and good luck. And thank you for celebrating with us on our first and only one year <laughs> anniversary that we'll have. You're out, you're out, you're out, you're out. You're out. Oh, all right, all right, <laughs> roll credits. Pop a bottle of Gruet Champagne. Ah! Woo! Oh wait, revive? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here. Just check out. The <laughs> oh, there's that. No, I'm not gonna keep pouring them. To us and to you and to everyone, thank you so much. Woo! Celebrate good times. All right. Check it out! Check it out! I have so many liquids! <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs>